Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a comparison with the CZ P10S versus the HK VP9SK. Both incredible double stack 9mm Palmer frame striker fire handguns that are excellent. And both would make a great CCW choice. Let's take a look at the slide length. We'll see that the CZ goes just a little bit longer, not much. And with the grip length, we'll see that they are essentially the same. The one thing that sets them apart is the magazine release. Now, the VP9SK has a trigger guard mag release that is ambidextrous. All right, you can drop it with your trigger finger there, and it comes with a 10-round magazine. Also has another magazine with an extended base plate, allowing for three-finger contact. But this is the 10-round mag. Also available is a 13-round mag. And with the CZ P10S... It is ambi, but it has to be switched over. So it comes on the left side of the gun, nice mag release, and a 12-round magazine. So if you look at the magazines, they, they look, they're the exact same size, but the CZ is able to pack in two additional rounds. Now, the grip on the HK is pretty phenomenal. They have incredible ergonomics and, and they, they really work hard to custom fit the hand size. They have interchangeable grip panels and back straps, slight finger groove in there. You put it all together, you can really get a nice grip on the gun and it fits all hand sizes if you work all that stuff. And I, I certainly appreciate what HK does. They have some of the best ergos in the market. And we'll check this unloaded now cz did a great job as well it does have interchangeable back straps a bit tacky okay you definitely feel it it is dialed down a bit from the p10c which was extremely aggressive i think they dialed down some of the aggressiveness and made it real comfortable but all things considered i have to give it to hk with the ergos it's it's just hard to beat <laughs> i think it'd be very hard to beat now the uh, p10s is pretty phenomenal it does have a Three and a half inch barrel. It does have front serrations there, a accessory rail. This particular model is optic ready, all right, which a lot of people are using optics on their carry guns now. And then blacked out rear sight, night sight for the front dot. Very nice setup. Excellent shooter. You know, I, I shot these side by side. I did not get a lot of footage of the shooting side by side, but I will say that. They both shot amazing. I mean, you're looking at two phenomenal guns from two excellent companies that, that do such a nice job. Now, here we have the VP9 SK front serrations, 1913 rail there. This has three dot luminescent sights. The luminescent, when charged by light, gives a night sight effect. They are not night sights because if they're not charged by light, you, you won't, you'll get a dull picture. But when charged by light, they brighten up quite a bit now let's uh let's take a look now the, before i move on the barrel length is just under three and a half inch so just a little bit shorter nothing that's even noticeable both ambidextrous guns all right slide stop a little different on the right side than the left side and over here we have slide stop very similar similar on each side let's take a look at the trigger here the hk I measure it five and a half pounds, reset right there. No over travel at all. Both have a trigger bar safety and nice. Another thing the VP9 SK has is a striker fire indicator. See that red dot? When charged, there when when you're when it's no longer charged, the striker fire indicator goes away. I measured just a little bit lighter quarter pound lighter five and a quarter pounds here with the cz i like this trigger pull i'm giving it to cz for the trigger because that to me just feels excellent no over travel either a little shorter reset but right there trigger bar safety and that one as well we're looking at about five to 550 we're looking at a little less with this not with this model though with the optic ready model, it's a little bit more 
uh, with the night sight as well. And, and this with night sights goes about six, six and a quarter. So we're looking at similar prices, just a little bit less with the CZ, especially when it doesn't have the optic ready model. I like this though. Uh, I really do. Let's take a look at the internals. Both very simple to take apart and reassemble. There's your barrel, captured recoil spring, and guide rod. CZ disassembles just as easy, albeit a bit different. The dual recoil spring is not captured, but it really doesn't make a difference. Let's start with the VP9SK, 10 rounds loaded up, 124 grain, 9 millimeter weighing in at 28 and 3 quarters ounces. The CZ, I have 12 rounds loaded up, so we have two additional rounds, no round in the chamber, weighing in at 30 and a quarter ounces, so that's a little bit heavier. It does have two additional rounds, so we have 30 and a quarter ounces. Let's just for fun put two more rounds here, and we're looking at 29 and 5 eighths ounces. So if the ammunition capacity is the same, the weight is within a half ounce difference. Both these subcompact handguns are scaled down models from the compact size VP9 and P10C. Let's take a look at this HK. Just all around excellent machining. Very nice. This would make anybody proud and extremely reliable. The longevity of each of these are incredible. CZ, some of the best handguns in today's market are made by CZ. So if I had to choose one, it, it, it's not an easy choice, but I, I do this. When I, when I do comparisons, I always uh, put myself in the hot seat and say, if I had to choose one, I'm just going to be quick about this. I'm taking the P10S. I just love that trigger, and that additional two rounds makes a difference to me. This is phenomenal. I think each of them would make a great choice. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.